All right, so we just finished up the opening. Uh, D-line MVP and future Vol. That is Khalil McKenzie, the pride of the Vols recruiting class so far. Hi, everybody. I'm Ray Crawford. Butch Jones certainly has an eye for talent, and he's working on his second straight top ten class. And whenever we talk recruiting here at Campus Insiders, we always get the insight from our recruiting insider, Alan Truce from Scout.com. And, Alan, uh, McKenzie moved up to the top spot on your list. Why? Well, he's been doing it all spring, and the opening simply just put the cherry on top. Uh, somebody asked me how much do you think that kid weighs, and I said just under 300 pounds. When they told me he weighs 340, I was shocked. He carries it unbelievably well, very athletic. Guys of that size and athleticism and ability just don't come along that much. So we view him as a guy who could potentially go wire to wire number one, come out of high school as the number one guy, possibly go number one in the NFL draft the same way Jadavian Clowney did, simply because there's so much emphasis on having that big guy who can eat up space in the middle, but he, this kid can also get after the quarterback as well. There were a number of players who committed at the Nike camp, the opening in Oregon last week. Who stood out? Well, there are a few guys that stood out, but I think USC uh, got a big one yesterday when Deshaun Holmes committed to them after the event was already over. He's not a big receiver. Uh, the, the Trojans have had a lot of success with some uh, great size receivers. He's going to bring something a little bit different to the table. He's about 5'9", 160 pounds, but very fast. Very explosive, can make make things happen in space, possibly contribute as a return man. And anytime they can beat out California, UCLA, and some of those schools for a kid, you know they're going to be happy uh, down there at USC. So uh, he had offers from those guys as well as the rest of the Pac-12. So a big get for them for a number of reasons. There was also movement in your rankings at the quarterback position. Who helped themselves at the opening? Well, the first one was Jared Stidham, quarterback committed to Texas Tech. And, you know, Texas Tech always throws the football around no matter who's back there, a quarterback. But he's going to come in as the highest ranked guy they've had, uh, as I can remember. So you partner his talents and his arm strength with Cliff Kingsbury, who's run that offense successfully and is doing some big things down there as head coach. And I think Sidham has a chance to be extremely successful for the Red Raiders. And then you have Blake Barnett in Alabama, who was outside the top 100 nationally before the event even began. Uh, and by our eyes, was one of the top performers there. So he moves up to number three nationally and also uh, gets added added a five-star to his name. But he was a four-star before, goes up to five. He's a kid who, who we really like. We think he fits into the style of offense that Alabama runs. And he's going to be a little bit similar to A.J. McCarron, but he's got a little bit more arm strength, maybe a little more athleticism. So Tide fans can expect more of the same from Blake Barnett. So we will be eager to see how they all do in their final year of high school. Alan, thanks. Absolutely. Thanks, Ray. Those quarterbacks Alan mentioned will likely throw a football to the nation's top receivers someday. Who are the top contenders for this year's Bolitnikoff Award? Doug Chapman's top three in a dark horse on CampusInsiders.com.